Hey, good morning. Wow. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going on and I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts and ideas. Uh, my inbox has been filling up this week with uh, a couple of things. It probably started last week with the release uh, of GDPR. And, and for those of you who are not familiar with GDPR, uh, it really is designed to protect data for users across the web. And, and it's a law that started in uh, the EU to protect citizens there with their data. So I wanted to share some information because I've had a lot of clients asking me about that uh, particular item. And then the second thing that I wanted to share with you today uh, was with regards to HTTPS. So uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Michael Wynn, and I'm the Chief Digital Officer at Digital Ops. We are a division of RB Oppenheim Associates based in Tallahassee, Florida. So I'm gonna share my screen um, real quick with you guys so that you can kind of take a look at uh, what I'm looking at and, and sharing, um, because I think there are some important things that are happening right now um, in, in the marketing world when it comes to GDPR. So let's take a quick look, quick look at it. Uh, just a quick um, recap. So I wanna talk about GDPR. Uh, and if, if you're looking for information, you can visit our website at rboa.com, click on the search tab, and then just enter GDPR and hit enter. And we wrote a blog post about this uh, a couple of weeks ago to try to help clients uh, and small businesses understand uh, what GDPR means and what you can do about it. And as a, a web developer in, in developing websites specifically on WordPress, uh, which is currently powers about 30% of websites on the web today, um, they recently made an update to help companies and organizations comply with GDPR. Now, again, GDPR is a regulation that was a, that it was really taking effect uh, in the European Union uh, last month, but it really does affect U.S.-based businesses because it's important for us to realize that while they took uh, took a great leap in protecting our information. Uh, and citizens of the EU, I think it's important for US-based businesses to um, take note of that and really follow the lead because I do think it, that it's important that we protect uh, the data. So I just wanted to, to talk about again that, um, you know, we've been getting these questions from our clients, you know, is our website GDPR compliant? Do we have to do it? Well, the fact is if you, provide content, services, or products to citizens of the EU, yes, you must be compliant. Um, if you don't specifically, our recommendation is to go ahead and follow through and, and take steps to making your website uh, GDPR compliant. And it's pretty simple, especially if you're running your website on WordPress. Um, here are just four quick steps. Number one, make sure that you create a privacy policy page. That's really the first step in making sure that you are able to let your users know about your privacy policy. And then second, um, create a cookies notice. It's a, it's a very simple process to uh, set up your cookie policy and make sure that you have that link on your website. Um, again, if you're using WordPress, there's a couple of different plugins. The Cookie Notice plugin is a great tool that will uh, create a small banner at the bottom of your website where your users can acknowledge that you have presented them with your privacy and cookie usage. Um, in addition to those steps, we do also recommend that you notify your users as well as your uh, email subscribers that you have updated your policy um, page as well as your uh, cookie notifications. Um, those couple of steps, um, in addition to that, uh, WordPress 4.96, which came out uh, a couple of months ago, actually now provides you the ability to export your user data as well as delete user data within your WordPress dashboard. 
Uh, so those are some other things that you can think about when trying to be compliant with GDPR. The second thing that I wanted to talk uh, about today, again, this is probably, these are the two things that I'm getting questioned a lot from clients as well as uh, just friends and family that own their business. Um, and that is with regards to HTTPS and having your website secure. Um, Google released uh, a security update on their blog on February 28th. Um, or excuse me, February 8th of this year, notifying um, really the world that uh, in July, just a few days from now, uh, with the Chrome Update 68, that Chrome will mark all HTTP sites as not secure. And as you can see in this example here, um, before Chrome 68 comes out, you would have the little circle with the eye, but after July, uh, just in a few days, in the address bar next to your domain name, uh, there will be a label called not secure. And for those clients who have uh, website pages that have contact forms or registration forms, this message is gonna turn red. And because Chrome is designed to effective with Chrome 68, uh, to notify users if their information that's being entered in those form fields is not being encrypted and protected. So it's really important to make sure that your website is compliant. So I think the next question is really what, why is it so important? And really at the bottom, bottom line, what we found is Google wants to make sure that um, very similar to GDPR that, that website visitors and the website as a, and the internet as a whole is secure. And so that's their purpose is to really provide Chrome users with confidence to be able to surf the internet and have their information um, protected. So they're really encouraging the adoption of SSL and HTTPS. Um, you know, I'm a visual person, so I think that, you know, just kind of having a visual for what's the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. So when someone's trying to, if you have a user on your website or if you have someone trying to fill out a form where they're in their name, their email, and maybe they're just, it's a contact us page. It's, it could be as simple as that, um, you know, that they're trying to reach you. And in July, just a few days, that's going to change. As soon as they type in the first letter of their name in that form, uh, in the address bar, it is gonna turn red. And that is going to scare a lot of people off. And so we are really encouraging our clients um, as we currently manage and host uh, over 100 websites on our server, we are strongly encouraging our clients and helping them walk through the process of making sure that their website is secure and walking them through the process of purchasing an SSL certificate, making sure that it's configured on our server properly. Um, and again, for those websites, which we develop our, all of our websites um, exclusively in WordPress, um, that they are install and activate a really simple SSL plugin um, that will convert all of your blog posts, all of your images and pages to, uh, HTTPS so that that information also is encrypted. Um, the additional benefit to that is sites that are HTTPS and encrypted uh, will gain an additional search engine optimization value uh, as Google is making that a part of the search engine optimization in their algorithm. Now, is it the magic bullet that's gonna put you on number one? Absolutely not. Um, could it better position your site compared to your competitors? It absolutely could, especially if they haven't taken steps. Um, so again, that's just kind of a recap um, of what we're seeing this week um, is GDPR and HTTPS are, are really important and are making a huge difference. Um, I'm glad uh, my friends are here and, and able to watch this video. Uh, we'll be putting it up on our YouTube channel uh, again, and linking it because, again, we've had several clients asking about this and, and we wanted to bring it to your attention, share it with you. Uh, again, thank you for your time and we look forward to sharing more digital marketing minutes with you uh, in the days and weeks to come.